Welcome back friends. This is Solomon Jogwe. I'm back with another quick insight. Uh, today is an awesome day for uh, DAS users, uh, especially those who are planning to use uh, DAS to the DAS to Unreal bridge. Okay, so uh, I got an email this uh, morning and I looked at it and I was like, oh, this is interesting because it, it says there was an update for DAS to the Unreal bridge. And so I grabbed it and did a quick test. So what you see right there on the screen is a DAS character. That is Michael 8.1. And so this only works with uh, the 8.1 characters or Genesis, Genesis 8.1. And over there, you can see the blueprint and you can see the lips. I mean, this today, <laughs> it is an exciting day because for the longest time, we wanted to, to use uh, DAS characters inside of the Unreal Engine. And of course, there's the elephant in the room. <laughs> so it's the meta humans. For every DAS user out there, everyone is talking about the meta humans. So the fact that we can bring these characters into uh, the Unreal Engine and including all their clothing. For example, that one, you can see the armor. Let me see if I can put it over here. You can see the armor right there. And so, which means that all those sci-fi looking characters will be able to use them inside of the unreal engine and add facial animation i'm using my iphone 10. you can see over here i hope i don't obstruct the screen but uh what, what i'm saying is it ends up on the screen over there so i mean we've, most of you who have been working with meta humans have seen the way we're able to capture facial motion uh, of course there's the solution for face Wear Studio together with the Glassbox Live client. And then there's, of course, the iPhone 10, right? But of course, not everyone can afford the iPhone 10. So that's why I did that uh, uh, demonstration of uh, using the Android phone to be able to capture that. So I'll, I'll find a way to do the, the same for these characters to see how we can use Android phones so we can create facial animation for the uh, DAS characters instead of the Unreal Engine. So Again, today is a quick update just to give you a heads up, guys, that uh, there's a new update for the DAS to the Unreal Bridge. And make sure you up, up, uh, upgrade your bridge inside of uh, DAS Central and test it out. You can that see it right there on the screen. Uh, I'm yet to figure out the head rotation, but I, that, I don't think that should be a problem, really. I'm just excited that I'm able to bring a DAS character inside of uh, the Unreal Engine and actually make the character talk using the ARKit supported fonts. And I'm using Live Face. And let me show it over here. Thank you so much for joining me today, guys. So please uh, do spare a minute to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're alerted when I post a new video. And as you can see over there is the DAS character. And today, again, just a, to recap real quick, we're talk, looking at uh, the new update of uh, the DAS to Unreal Bridge, which is an awesome, because I, 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 I did read that uh, DAS, uh, DAS 3D, or DAS, yeah, DAS 3D received a mega grant from the Epic Games. So they received an Epic Games mega grant. So I think this is the road to making uh, these characters in the in DAS Studio available in the Unreal Engine and to use for uh, facial animation. So thank you so much, DAS 3D team. Uh, this is a good, <laughs> this is really good progress. And I can't wait to add, uh, test even more characters and showcase the ability of this, uh, this bridge. So again, guys, please spare a minute to uh, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're alerted when I post a new video. Uh, see you next time with another insight and uh, tutorial. Uh, thank you so much support for you, for the patrons and for your support, guys. Much love. Please stay safe and as always, dare to dream big. Don't give up on your dream, guys. Bye for now.